Hi guys, in this tutorial we'll tell you how to add video page into your app. The video page allows you to upload videos from your device or through third party platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Ustream, Vimo, etc. on the fly. Now let's see how to add video page. Enter your business name. and click on next. As per your business name, the app will suggest you some specific categories. If you can't find the appropriate category, click on view more categories. Here you will see all the categories. Choose the one that best suits your business. Once done, click on next. Now select an app design as per your choice. And click on next. Now let's add the page. Click on view all here and search video. Click on the page to add it. Here's your video page name. If you want you can change it. From here you can change the page icon. If you want you can select a solid outline icon or image from our library or upload your own custom icon image from this section. Now let's move to content section. From here you can add a video playlist from third party platforms like YouTube, Facebook, etc. or upload your own videos. Now let's add a video playlist from YouTube. Click on YouTube icon. Here's your category name. If you want you can change it. This is your app menu name. If you want you can change it. This is your app menu icon image. From here you can change it and upload your own custom icon image. Now select your desired option, URL, channel, search, etc. Now enter your YouTube URL. To get YouTube URL, follow our tutorial. How to use your YouTube URL in your app page. Click on add more button to add multiple YouTube profiles. From here you can delete the YouTube profiles. Now let's add some videos from Facebook. Click on Facebook icon to add it. Here's your category name. If you want you can change it. From here you can delete the category. This is your app menu name. If you want you can change it. This is your app menu icon image. From here you can change it and upload your own custom icon image. Now enter your Facebook page URL. Click on add more button to add multiple Facebook profiles. From here you can delete Facebook profiles. In the similar way you can add Ustream Vimo live streaming Media RSS Daily Motion custom
Facebook Live and YouTube videos. Now let's move to advanced settings. Here you will see different options. First comes open in native player. By default it is turned off. If you want to open videos in device native player, turn it on. Next comes autoplay. This option works with live streaming and custom videos. If you want videos to be autoplay, turn it on. Next comes enable screencast. If you want to enable it, turn it on. Next comes video sharing. By default, it is turned on. If you want, you can turn it off. Next comes display listings in reverse order. If you want to enable it, turn it on. Now let's move to language settings. Here you will see all the alert messages appearing in your video page of your app. If you want, you can change them or leave as it is. Next comes page style and color scheme. From here, you can change the page background as per your liking. If you want, you can select our image from our library, a solid color, or upload your own custom icon image. In custom background image, you have the option to use image for both portrait and landscape mode. However, if you want, you can upload two separate images. Next comes page layout. From here, you can select your desired page layout. Now let's move to advanced elements customization. From here you can change page elements color, font style, font size, and indent as per your needs. Next comes share option. From here you can change the position of sh social sharing buttons. Once done, click on save and continue. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more updates. Thanks for watching.